change things that I feel Friends, what's up? This is Megan from MeganCaseyGuitar.com. I'm going to do a special tutorial, kind of aimed at my awesome group class that I have going on. So, if only four people watch it, <laughs> we know why. But for those of you who don't actually know me, welcome to my channel. I hope you find this video helpful. So, we are doing Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. If you want to play in the same key that you're used to hearing it in, you're going to be on capo 5. I tried to sing it there and my voice could not hit those low notes so I brought it up to capo 6 and we're going to be playing it with C chord fingerings. So I'm going to just jump right into the intro. You can just straight strum through a C chord but if you want it to sound a little bit more like what you're used to hearing it's this little trick where we're going to hold down the regular fingering for a C chord but then you're going to add your pinky to this D note which is the ninth tone of the C scale so it's called a C9, and we're on the second string there. And I'm going to just slow motion this for you. So you're going to do a down stroke. And if you end your strum on the second string, that's ideal, but it's fine if you don't. So you got down, and then on your up stroke, you're going to let go with the pinky and kind of strum the first four-ish strings on that. So down, up, down. So for your first two downstrokes that you have, you're playing C9. So if I were to say the chord names, it would be C9 regular, C, C9, C, and you stay on C for those last three, up, down, up. So C9, C, C9, C. Now this strumming pattern, one and two and, air stroke on three and four and, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And so then once you start singing, it may be too much to do all at once, so you can just stay with the regular C, or you can kind of keep this pattern going. So you go, loving you isn't the right thing to do. I'm pretty sure that was three measures of that. So once you get to right thing to do, you kind of rest on beat one and two and three and four and. So one and two and three and four and. So I'm going to go over that again starting at the beginning. Loving you. to the F chord. Now you can play the full bar chord version of F if you're able to, or you can use the four string version of F where you're holding down the two strings with one finger, third string and fourth string. If that's too much for you and you don't have patience for yourself while you're building strength in your fingers, you can play an F major seven. That's kind of the way to make it a little easier for yourself. That would be holding down the second string, third string and fourth string like this. It doesn't have quite the same sound, but it's still major in quality, so it's not going to clash with anything. So that would sound like... How can I ever change things that I feel? You can tell it still works. So you still have your one and two and and four and one and two. And you do that three times. That I feel. And then you go back to that same riff in C in the beginning. on 
this one too. Give you my world rest up, down, up, down, up, down, up on G. You can play G. G is a funny chord because you can include the second string third fret or you can have it be open and they're both the G chord. It doesn't change the chord quality. Sometimes it's just a matter of fingering convenience or if you want to hear that tone instead of that one. So sometimes it's specified for you and sometimes it just doesn't matter. Anyway, how can I from me. That was three passes of three measures of that F. Now I did something just because I'm playing acoustic and I don't have a band playing with me, which is always sad. Um, when I get to the C, I do something to get me from C to A minor, and this is a descending bass line. So what I did was I went from C and then I moved my second finger down to the fifth string. And I kept my C note there, and that just brought that low note down by half a step. So, and then you can land on A minor. And so, in the bass bass line, you would hear, da, 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 which is very satisfying for our ears that love predictability. So, once you get to A minor, you can keep it pretty simple. It's a straightforward rhythm in this chorus section. So, I just kind of did variations of a straight eighth note, one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And each chord you play here gets one measure, or when I say one measure, in this case I'm talking about four beats. One, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G gets two though. back on C and you do that riff from the beginning again. And that, that is it. It's the same thing for the whole song, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So this is a nice simple one if you're just barely setting your toes in the waters of the guitar. This is, this is a good place to start. And doing anything that forces your pinky to be independent is just really good practice. You may hate it, and you, <laughs> but it's something you have to force yourself to learn how to do. So don't expect it to be perfect for a while. It's just like any physical exercise. You have to start somewhere, and you will slowly see improvement there. So hopefully this was helpful, and you guys will all be back for more. And because you master all these things I have for you. Have an awesome day. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. That's so helpful for me, and thanks to all my subscribers that I already have.